So I've been following the story that we got on CNN. Crazy cat. But I've been following the story that we got on CNN about this lady named Cindy Stowell, who supposedly died of cancer on December 5th. We, we didn't get the story until December 7th. I've made three previous videos in regards to this. And once again, this story is coded by the numbers, just like all of our media stories, just like our movies, just like our sports leagues. If you don't know what I'm talking about and you think that I'm crazy, please, I dare you to go back and watch. I have tons and tons of videos on tons of topics and I will show you exactly what I am talking about. You need to watch the How To Gematria video that I'm gonna leave in the description. And then once you watch that, it's a 15 minute video. I'm telling you, you watch that. If you go back and watch a bunch of my previous stuff, you'll understand what I, more of what I'm talking about and why I keep talking about it. I have tons of examples explaining the same stuff over and over. It never seems to end. It just always seems to keep happening. And this lady on Jeopardy, it's no different. It's every episode she's been on has been scripted by the numbers. This one was a little more tricky to understand, but it was definitely coded by the numbers. And so let's, let's just take a look at it really quick. So... If you go and watch this episode, the fourth episode that she was on, and remember, so in Gematria, cancer equals 44, chemo equals 44, cigarettes equal 44, kill equals 44. Lots of examples in regards to cancer and 44. And going into this episode, she was $4,400 away from $44,000. And the date numerology of this day Friday, December 16th, 12 plus 16 plus 16 equals 44. So a whole lot of 44 going on with this day. I thought possibly she would lose, but she ended up winning, and her winning actually is connected to her name, but I'll get to that. So the first thing that really stuck out to me, I guess, on this episode was they showed this picture here, and... Cindy Stowell answered, what is an excavator? And the category was something to do with, it had to begin with an E and end with an R. And she said, what is an ex excavator? And Alex was like, nope. And then he was like, well, I guess we'll accept that. We're looking for earth mover. And in Gematria, earth mover equals 53, just like Cindy Stowell. And... You know, it's just stuff like this that stands out in the episode. There's some awkward things that happen. If you just pay attention to them and then you check out how it's coded by the numbers, it's always synced up to what's going on. But Earth Mover equals 53, Cindy Stowell equals 53. And, you know, she even died on a date numerology of 53. She died on December 5th, 12 plus 5 plus 16 or plus 20 plus 16 equals 53. So there you go. Her name equals 53. She dies on a date numerology of 53. I've seen this happen so many times it's not even funny. If I knew her birthday, I wouldn't be surprised if her birthday was 53 days after she died or 53 days before or something synced up in regards to a few other things that would connect to her name. Possibly like 161, because her name the big way equals 161. But I can't find her obituary anywhere online. That seems to happen a lot with CNN news stories. Not saying that, that this lady, possibly it's a real lady, possibly whatever. I just can't find it anywhere. I can find someone who died 10 years ago in a matter of seconds that I personally know, but I can't find you know, someone that's on CNN that you think that there would be be pretty easy to find the obituary, you know? But moving on here, so a lot of this episode today was connected to this lady right here, Erin. Interesting thing about her, her name's Erin Williams. And in Gematria, if you write out Erin Williams, it equals 144. 
And if you write out the words 44, it equals 144. Syncing up to the cancer, and chemo, and everything else that's going on with her with 44. But there was an awkward pause today. This lady got the question right and brought her up to 2200, tying Cindy with 2200. If you add that together, what do you get? 4400, right? 44. And she starts going on uh, to the next question, and then Alex stops her. He's like, whoa, 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 pretty much. Like, we got to go to commercial. But the category was called opposites. Opposites in Gematria equals 44. Isn't it funny that there are two totals added up to 44? The 22 is interesting too. And because after the break, they come back from commercial. And of course he goes and talks to these people and you find a little bit more about them. And you find out this lady supposedly played rugby in college, but then quit rugby because it was... Uh, whatever, she wasn't a good tackler, and she joined the Ultimate Frisbee team, or whatever. Ultimate Frisbee in Gematria equals 165. If you write out the word 22, it equals 165. So interesting, she has $2,200, 22. There's a 22 over here. Rugby in Gematria. Rugby equals 28 in Gematria. And the very first question after the interviews and after the commercial, Cindy Stowell got it right and went up to $2,800. The 28, rugby equals 28, Cindy equals 28. This girl's name is Aaron. Aaron equals 28. Then later on, Aaron, she misses her. She was the one who got every daily double on this episode. Aaron, one of them that she missed brought her down to $2,800, matching up with her name, Aaron. And the answer was actually Ayn Rand, which is this lady right here. It was uh, Women Authors or something like that. But notice she was born on 2-2, and she died age 77. If you write her name out in Gematria, equals 77. I mean, I'm telling you, I can't believe how many, how many celebrities this happens to all of the time. We even just had the death of the Brady Bunch lady, Whatever her name was, Florence Henderson. She died 82 days, be uh, 82 days before her 83rd birthday and whatnot. I mean, it's just ridiculous after a while. But Ayn Rand equals 77, died age 77 on 2-2. Two, two. Later on, Aaron missed another daily double. The question was about Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa equals 77. And the story about Cindy Stowell... It came out 77 days after the filming of her first episode on Jeopardy or whatever. So the filming was on 9-21, September 21st, 77 days later, we got the story on CNN about her dying. The very next question after Aaron missed the Ayn Rand question, she got it right, and it brought her up to... 4,400, the 44, you know, I mean, just pretty funny. Later on, in, in Double Jeopardy, we got this category right here. Numeric words and phrases. Oh, the odds we get a, oh, the odds we get a category, numeric words and phrases, exactly what I am talking about. Although, they didn't show us gematria, they didn't show us coding numbers into words and phrases, but, you know, just a little hint, kind of a secret joke probably with the Jeopardy crew. So this lady's, this Aaron girl, she got the third daily double, and she also missed this one as well. It was the Lakers won championships in 1987 and 88. So before the next season, Pat Riley trademarked this. And the answer is 3P. 3P equals 44 in Gematria. And think about daily double. The D, 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 the fourth letter. D, so D, D, 44, reminding us of cancer and whatnot. And so the first one, the, the first daily double that she got 
was about Ayn Rand or whatever, equals 77, died age 77. Then we got the one about Kwanzaa that equals 77. This one they made a little more tricky. They did it about the Los Angeles Lakers. If you write out Los Angeles Lakers and Gematria, it equals 175. If you write out 77, it also equals 175. Connecting back to 77, you know, every three double jeopardy or every three daily doubles that this lady missed were all connected to the number 77. I also noticed at the very end of this episode, so she was winning going into the very end. This lady got the final Jeopardy question right, went up to 10,800. This guy got the final Jeopardy question right, went up to 20,000. Then they were going over to Cindy, and she had 15,400. So she was exactly 4,600 ahead of her and 4,600 behind this guy. So just interesting, a new number I've seen in regards to her, but... The word sacrifice equals 46. Possibly that was what's going on with it. I noticed that there was just a lot of connections to this lady, though, Erin. And she had 10,800, reminding us of 108. And Cindy Stowell had 100, 15,400, 154. If you write out 154, it equals 108. The answer to the final question was El Salvador and Belize that equals 79 and 187. The word murder equals 79. 187, the murder code. Champion also equals 79. And the 79th prime number, or the 22nd prime number, 79. So anyway, this lady wins, and she goes up to 62,000, and then the $1.00. Which is interesting because on the first episode that she won, she won $22,801. Remember the word death equals 228. The CNN article reported it as that she won 22800 instead of the, they didn't put the one on it. So 62000 this lady's up to. Her name with the S exception, Cindy Stowell. It equals 53, but with the S exception equals 62. Something that I overlooked in regards to my previous videos. So how hilarious she wins getting a four-day total of $62,000. Her name equals 62. She beat the next closest person, Michael. She wagered 7,001 on this day or whatever. It's bringing her total to 22,401. So it was $2,401 more than Michael. In numerology, you don't use the zero. So literally, like, she won 2,401 over Michael. 241, the 53rd prime. Her name equals 53. Super scripted. I mean, it's just absolutely, it's not even that unbelievable. But I know a lot of people who watch this video are going to think it's unbelievable. But please, I'm telling you, go back and watch my previous stuff. Also, this one at the end, possibly the reason they keep doing this with her is because one in Gematria equals the same as her last name, 34. But who knows? I'm going to leave it at that. Hopefully you get the gist of what I'm saying. Please watch the videos I leave in the description. It will make a ton more sense of what I'm talking about. It just, it happens every single day. We get media stories that are coded by the numbers. This story in the media, so you knew that her being on Jeopardy was going to be coded by the numbers. Every episode she's been on, I've showed how it was coded and connected to her name, Gematria. And also what the story is about, cancer and death and whatnot. So, peace. Have a good one.